This exhibition showcases the works of African and African diasporic artists from the Jorge M. Perez collection. And it really gathers a lot of artists from different parts of the world, different cultures, that have a relationship to the Black experience. The artists work in a lot of different types of mediums, abstraction, representation, questions of identity. You'll see photographs, you'll see paintings. So artists are going to have a very unique opportunity to see a lot of different artists who share a relationship to the Black experience expressing their work here at Pound. So there's certainly a method to walk the exhibition and you start with the work by Kara Walker that you see right behind me, which is a work that speaks to ideas of slave history in the United States, but also the separate movements, along with some ideas of Western art history. And, and I really like this work behind me because it almost looked like a history painting of sorts, you know, with a, a martyr figure in the middle of the composition. And it's also a gigantic drawing. Here we're trying to create space and visibility to artists of color from different parts of the world who have different national histories. However, they all share an experience of black oppression that is very important or is in conversation right now. I often get asked, how is this show important now, given the context that we're in? And the works here on the show do speak about charged histories of, of race, of enslaved people, and about just racial oppression in general, not only in the US, but also in Africa, in Latin America, in the Caribbean. So there is this very conglomerate of voices that are speaking about a, the same thing, in a way. That being said, the works here are very colorful, they're very nice and seductive to look at. So there's something here that there's a lot of pain, but also a lot of beauty and a lot of joy that I would love every viewer to really take on from the show. Because even as things right now may seem a little bit chaotic, there's beauty in that growth and there's beauty just in the experience of looking at art and being seduced by it.